today with this page right here, which you use to complete your Lesson 10 Part 1 notes. So if you didn't turn in your Lesson 10 Part 1 notes yet, make sure you submit those through Canvas. So that page will help you um, complete the notes. So I'm going to press continue here. And we are on the lesson about changing text size in our page. So we're on this Odd World Records page. And uh, last thing we did on here is we changed the color of our heading to a different color, any color you want, and we changed we added a rule for the H3 tag and we changed the color of that. So we learned how to change color with the color property. And of course, all the colors, um, if you go back a couple levels, all the colors are located on a link in here. And you can also Google it too, like HTML colors and all the HTML colors will pop up. So anyways, on this particular level, we want to be on our style.css sheet. And we want to add a rule to make the paragraphs bigger. Actually, I think we already have a rule for that. And then we want to add a new rule for this H3 tag, this most M&Ms eaten blindfolded, to make that either bigger or smaller. So let's first test it out on this paragraph. Right now, um, the default rule in there is that our font size is 14 pixels. And that's about what it looks like. That's These are our paragraphs. So I'm just going to change it in here. I'm going to up it to 18 pixels. So we can see the changes over here. Now it's a little bit bigger. So to change the size of our text, we use the font size property. Not to be confused with text size, which actually isn't a thing at all. We always want to use font size. So 18, 18 pixels is what I change mine to, but you guys can experiment with yours. And then the directions up here say to add a new rule to your rule set for your H3 tag to make that bigger or smaller. So I'm going to go do that here. I already have a rule for my H3 selector to change the color to Dodger blue. So now I'm just going to add one for font size. And I'm going to make this, since my paragraph is 18 pixels, I'm going to make this 20 pixels. So you can see that that makes it just a little bit larger than it already was. And it goes on to two lines now, which is okay because actually it's not on two lines. <laughs> it's just condensed in the code.org view. So what I just did there is added a font size rule to the H3 selector there. And remember, this entire thing is called a rule set. All right, so I'm gonna press finish, and now I'm on level eight. And level eight deals with actually changing the font family. And we have this boring serif font here. By the way, guys, what is the difference between a serif font and a sans serif font? Let me pull up an image for you. This is a good one. So a serif font has these little lines at the end of it, and it makes it look a little bit more formal, a little bit fancier, but a sans serif font is just a lot more clean cut. It doesn't have those little lines at the end of it. So this is important to know for HTML because serif and sans serif are two of our font families. So going back here uh, to our style.css page, we want to change the font family of our text here to a different uh, family. As we can see, our paragraph is already on cursive. So you can kind of see how that's supposed to look. So let's change it for our H1 tag and make this look different. And we can experiment with different ones. So I'm going to type in font family. And as you can see here, there are options. I don't know why mine's getting cut off, but um, they're also listed up here. So you can try sans serif. And don't forget your semicolon at the end. So you can see that now this becomes a little boxier, a little cleaner. And um, another one you can try is 
cursive, which you already saw what that looked like, but I'll show you right here. So that's a little bit fancier. And then there's also one called Fantasy, which looks like this. And then there's also one called Monospace, which looks like that. Kind of like very code looking. Code.org doesn't tell you this, but you can also type in font names of, you know, familiar font styles like Arial, and it'll give you that sans serif font. Calibri, can I spell that? Yes. And what's another one? Lucida, handwriting. Nope, that one didn't work. Um, but you can look up, you know, fonts on Google and, and test if they work. For now, I'm going to just go with sans serif. All right. So that is how to change the font style. And I'm, I'm also going to change it for this one down here so it doesn't look weird to have a, um, a sans serif font and a serif font together. Typically, you just stick with one or the other. All right, so I'm gonna press finish and move on to level 